Hey everyone, welcome to Learning Works for Kids Game Spotlights. This is a series where we will be walking through some of your favorite games and talking about how playing them can help you get better at real world skills. If you want to know more about how to take your gameplay to the next level, visit learningworksforkids.com and learn more about how video games can be a part of a balanced play diet. Get your magnifying glass ready, because today we are going to be talking about the point-and-click mystery game Jenny LeClue, Detective Ooh. In this game, you are playing through a story about Jenny LeClue, a young girl who wants nothing more than to be a detective. Jenny lives in a small and perfect town called Arthurton, where nothing exciting ever happens. Jenny wants to start her own detective business, but cannot get anyone in the town to take her seriously because of her age and the complete and utter lack of crime in the town. But when her mother is falsely accused of a very real and very serious crime, she needs to put her skills to the test. Can a kid really crack a big case and save everything she loves? Play Jenny LeClue Detective Ooh to find out. This game is a great way for players to practice their focusing skills. When Jenny is investigating a mystery, the player needs to look for clues on the screen by tapping on items that look interesting. When enough clues are collected, the player then has to solve the case by connecting the pieces of evidence together. This means that the player needs to pay attention to the clues and how they might connect together. The game is also a great way for players to practice their time management skills. Often, there are choices that need to be made in the game that are time sensitive. The player needs to make a choice that will direct how people react to you within the story. In some instances, you can choose to trust or disbelieve a character, for example. The player needs to be able to work under pressure and quickly make decisions before the timer runs out. And finally, this game is a good way to practice self-awareness skills. Everyone in Arthurton is dealing with their own problems, even though the town seems perfect on the surface. There are people who lost loved ones, people who are hiding who they are because they're afraid of what others will think, and kids who are trying to cope with mistakes their parents have made. These issues require the player to put themselves in the role of Jenny and the other characters of the game to understand what they are feeling and why they behave the way they do. What are some other mystery games that you like to play? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see new reviews and playthroughs every week. Well, that's all the time we have for today, but be sure to join us for the next Game Spotlight at learningworksforkids.com.